beautiful people welcome back to the overwhelmed woman i'm emma and as promised i've got a really quick demonstration and review of this amazing shark hoover um, which i bought to try and tackle the fur that was just constantly around my house so it's a bit difficult to do this video on my own but bear with and uh, i will hold on <laughs> I will hoover this little carpet here and then show you some of the attachments and some of the pros and cons and you will be amazed at what comes up off this in a second. So, so hopefully you'll be able to see how much fur has been collected in the collection chamber just off the uh, rug. It's amazing how much stuff it gets off. And if you want to reduce the suction, you just use this little slider. And if you want to transfer from hardwood, sorry, hard floor to carpet, there's this really easy little switch. So the transition's really easy. When I hoover the rug, outside sorry just by the door and in my hallway i have to change it to the lowest suction and i have to click it to um hardwood floor because it just pulls the rugs all over the place otherwise um, okay the other really big positive about this hoover is the anti-wrap technology the anti-hair wrap technology which i need because uh, i have lost hours of my life trying to get hair out of the rollers of various um, vacuum clean cleaners in the past. I'm glad I waited to review this Hoover because I would have given it not a great score for the anti-wrap technology but that's because I've realised that it just does it on a continuous basis so if you were to look at the rollers there would be hair in it but it constantly moves that out as it hoovers so I've had this okay now I'm going to show you some of the manoeuvrability of this so you've got to what they call two uh release switches here you've got this wound release which is brilliant for when you want to do uh, cobwebs or going across architrave or skirting boards or things like that so there's that facility and then when you want to do the stairs you've got this other wand release that you lift off and you can attach your little stair attachment and the beauty of this particular model is you've got the lift away feature as well. So you just click it and the whole thing lifts off. So you can go up the stairs really easily. Um, and likewise, if you don't want to, if you uh, are struggling a little bit to manoeuvre this around a very small space. So for example, I tend to use it as it is. Whoop, hold on. Um, but when I'm, you, when I'm vacuuming the little bedrooms upstairs, they're really tiny, so I use it like this. So, yeah, a lot easier than that. And then you can manoeuvre this around. You can manoeuvre that around really easily. So, um, apologies, because it's really difficult trying to do this on your own and get all the features in. But when it comes to taking it apart, you literally click these little clips and the whole thing comes out and i thought it was a little bit weird when i had the when i first got this but there's two release sections for the um for the collection bucket so you can either release it at the bottom or if anything does get stuck at the top you can turn it round and go the other way but there you go so that is what's come off that little hoover um, and the other great thing about this is these filters, you can just basically take the whole thing out like this, give them a swill under the tap, dry them out and pop them back in. So as long as you look after these, essentially you don't need to replace them. And a quick tip actually is to um, rinse them with something like Zoflora because your house smells incredible the whole time you're hoovering you never get that horrible smell again um, okay now for the cons and there are only a few but first of all there's nowhere to store the attachments on the unit itself and there isn't a bag that it comes with so just bear that in mind it's a first world problem but something to think about um, and the second con would be that you have to get the angle of the uh, the stair attachment completely flush 
otherwise it doesn't pick up properly so that just takes a little bit of getting used to um the third con would be the lead it's really long which is great but it isn't retractable so just bear that in mind because I've been used to having a Henry Hoover with a retractable lead so for the first few weeks I got tangled up quite a lot with the lead and leg myself over more than once so um, that's just something again to bear in mind um, and I guess the most important thing is if you are weak wristed uh, uh, or you struggle in that respect or you've got a really large area to vacuum then just bear in mind that it's quite weighted towards the top. So the, the bulk of the weight is actually at the top rather than the bottom. It doesn't affect me because our house is not very big, but um, I can imagine that you'd feel like you were having a bit of a workout if you had got big space or, or a bit of a weak wrist. Um, that said, the lower priced versions are brilliant, just as good as this, but I paid the extra money because I really wanted the anti-wrap, the anti-hair wrap technology. And my friend has got the upright cordless stick version and she swears by that. Um, and if you go on the, the Shark website, you can actually compare all of the models and find the best one for you. But um, I have had a Henry Hoover and a cat a Miele cat and dog uh, along with lots of other brands over the years and this is hands down the best one I've ever had for tackling the fur so I hope that helps and as always until next time remember you're not alone if you're feeling overwhelmed we're all overwhelmed together and until next time massive love and now I'm going to go and get a cup of tea